Welcome back, welcome back to the new series on the channel. My name's Breezy, and this is Pokemon Yellow Legacy. Um, this is a new ROM hack made by Smitty Plays. I want to say his name is. I could be wrong on that. Let me actually double check this. I want to give him his shout out because he is a cool content creator, and I really like the content that he does. I'm sorry that for some reason when I click off of my Visual Boy, it's Smith Plays. Smith Plays. That's the name. Um, he is a really cool content creator. He does these games called Legacy games. So he has Pokemon Crystal Legacy and now Yellow Legacy. And I believe he's working on Emerald next. Um, where he takes the games and he basically tries to make the experience of playing these games as perfect as it should have been in his eyes. Um, he doesn't try to update the games to crazy, you know, futuristic or newer generation uh, mechanics or anything like that. He just tries to make the game the best version that it could have been of itself. So you will see, uh, we're going to go on hard mode. I am nuzlocking this. Set mode, no items in battle, gym level caps. Yes. Play as a boy or girl, we are playing as a boy. Okay. Uh, so they make a lot of changes to the teams that you fight. They make them a lot more difficult. Uh, they make all of the Pokemon available in the game. Um, improve the move sets of Pokemon and evolutions of some Pokemon. Um, so that, you know, you don't have to do the trade evolutions and whatnot. Uh, Pokemon, like my favorite, Sandslash, will have... I'm going to go with Ash as the name. You got it. I'm going to go with Ash. I'm not breezy today. Uh, but you get... Every Pokemon will be available earlier in the game. Uh, rather than going through a ton of routes and it's just Pidgeys, Fearows, and whatnot available. Um, it's actually going to be, you know, more variety. So, I'm excited. We're going to Nuzlocke the game. Um, I've decided I'm going to... I, I say I decided. I haven't decided. Uh, if I'm going to use the Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle that you get, um, I'm not sure if I want to. I kind of want to run the Pikachu and then just Nuzlocke encounters from there and see how it goes. So, oh my gosh. I haven't played a Gen 1 playthrough on my YouTube ever aside from the Soul Link. So this is pretty exciting. Pokemon Yellow is like my first game. Oh my God. So excited. So excited. Um, it's the first game that, you know, was my first, you know, Game Boy and everything that was, you know, actually mine. Before that, Red and Blue I had played, but it was, you know, my brother's game or something. So Pokemon Yellow holds a special place in my heart as well as I'm sure it does for a lot of, you know, 30 plus Pokemon players. Uh, so I'm excited for this. Super excited. Um, I've... There is a video for this. If you go to Pokemon like uh, Yellow Legacy, if you look it up on YouTube, you'll find uh, Smith Plays video on it where he describes all of the changes and updates that he made to the game. Um, so if you want to go check that out, you can. If you want to get a full rundown of what it is. Um, okay, let's see. See the ball on the table there? It's called Pokeball that holds Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps. Oh, me. <laughs> He'll give me one later. And then I go here, and he goes, nope. Ah, throws me out the way. No way, Ash, I want this Pokemon. And he steals the Eevee. <laughs> All right, then that Pokemon's yours. Wow, what a pushover. Gosh, he threw me into the trash can over here. And then we get the Pikachu. So this is gonna be a Nuzlocke. Um, you did, if you just saw the beginning, I added uh, I did go hard mode, so the hard mode puts it so you can't, it's set mode, so you don't get the, you know, the switch priority in between KOing Pokemon. Um, there are level caps, so you can't level past the gym leader's ace of the next gym that's coming up, and no healing in battle. It's not like a super, the teams are all the same that you play, it's not like any changes of that, it's called hard mode just to, because it increases the difficulty, but... This isn't really designed to be a difficulty uh, ROM hack. Um, I'm going to go with... What am I going to I'm going to go to the Soul Link video and grab a nickname from there. Because I'm not doing a starter selection for this. This is just going to be a, you know, regular, regular start here. You know, you don't get to choose the starter. So let me see what nicknames we got in here. I'm gonna go with oh this is a classic name I'm I I've used this name so much throughout my playthroughs but I'm naming it coffee I'm drinking a coffee right now I am here for it and I also am using 
a different thing for my team layout. So, oh, I like it. It's kind of, it looks kind of like an empty space there. I don't really know how I feel about it, um, but we'll see how it goes. I kind of was looking through the different options I had for the Pokey Link. It's what I use for the card arts that I use for the, the Soul Link, the ones that are up there. Um, but it is having some issues, the like, layout that I'm using currently. So I tried a different one out just to see how it goes. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go for the Thundershock. I believe they updated a lot of sprites in this game. Um, I think there were a bunch of sprites that, like, looked really bad from behind, and they updated them. Pretty sure. So, so far, so good. Coffee the Pikachu. Um, I know that you can't evolve Pikachu still. I believe that's still a thing, but I do think that you can find other Pikachus, so you could get Raichu. I believe they make it so you can fill the Pokedex uh, if you ever, you know, so chose to. And they added an experience bar, which is really cool. That looked really good. And we learned Quick Attack. Nice. Uh, it, upgrading the movesets is such a big thing. Like I said, I think I kind of got distracted, but Sand Slash, for instance, if it's my favorite Pokemon. And if you know anything about Sand Slash and its moveset, it doesn't learn a ground move in its moveset, and it's a pure ground type. It only learns ground moves in like Gen 4 or something like that. So they end up adding, you know, better moves to the Pokemon's move pool and whatnot. So more Pokemon are viable and able to be used. All right, and they also added uh, running shoes so you can move a little quicker throughout the game. So I don't have Pokeballs yet. We'll look at the Pidgey. And it's not randomized. We're doing randomizers. This is going to be the regular game. Uh, like I said, it's just going to have to be more Pokemon available. And, you know, hopefully get to have a nice, interesting team. And we're Nuzlocking it. So whatever my first encounters are is what I'm going to catch. Um, I'm not going to do any shenanigans with that. Uh, when it comes to gift Pokemon, let me know how you guys feel about it. You know, should I take the Raich... I mean, the, Raich, the Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Should I... They're gift Pokemon. I mean, normally I do count gift Pokemon when I play these. Um, I, mean, I guess I could take them and just, you know, if I don't want to use them, I don't have to. But if, you know, I'm having a hard time and losing a lot of Pokemon, I might need, might need all the help I can get. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Feels good playing Gen 1. I'm going to do no speed up in this too. I'll probably do some grinding in between episodes and stuff to get my team leveled up. I'll try not to do that on stream. If, I mean, on video if I don't need to. Um, but I'm going to try doing no speed up. Just get the full, full experience of this, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, I uploading these to YouTube and Facebook. I think I might actually try uploading these to uh, TikTok as well. I know that you can post longer form videos on there. Um, I've yet to try it. I posted one, which was the starter selection or black and white uh, for the soul link and I don't really know how it did I probably should check on that uh, but there's some sort of limit to like how like big of a video it can be like you know memory size you know however many megabytes or gigabytes or whatever so I'll have to check that out so it'd be cool to get a series playing on there mm -mm -mm. the records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught it's a high tech encyclopedia all right, we got the Pokedex. Let's go, baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. You want us to fill your dream of catching all the Pokemon? I got you. I got you. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Ash, I hate to say it, but you don't. But I don't need you. <laughs> um, I know they increased the size in the bag, but I don't think it's unlimited. I'm pretty sure the bag does still have a limit. Um, I'm trying to think what other things off the top of my head I know. All right, did he, just, he just gave me Pokeballs, I believe, right? I have to double check. The Rattata is here. No, you did not get Pokeballs yet. No Pokeballs yet. Okay. Mm, I don't know. For some reason, I thought you got Pokeballs right there. Maybe that's only in Radical Red, and I've just played Radical Red so much that I'm just so used to that. I have been, I started Radical Red on stream the other day again. Kind of getting the itch to play that once again. So we'll see. Kind of, kind of feeling it. Uh, been doing a lot of the Iron Mons and yeah, I love, I love the Iron Mons. The Iron Mons are a ton of fun, but you know, the Iron, the Radical Red itch is it's coming back. It's coming back. The competitiveness. 
Uh, okay. Let's go to the Mart. I believe we can buy Pokeballs now. Yep. Okay. Buy a bunch of those. And we're going to buy some Antidotes. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. Uh, let's buy six. And then one more potion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go to Route 1 and get our encounter. Oh, I think the fishing rod is available. I get, is it in here? Use a PC in the corner store. Pokemon, I know. What are you doing? Oh, I feel like I remember them saying the fishing rod is available earlier in the game. Is it him? I'm the fishing guru. Let's go. Okay. So I can get a fishing encounter in Pallet Town. I want to get a water type on the team. I believe there's much more available Pokemon of it uh, with fishing as well. So should be should be good. Okay. Let's go get our first encounter. Route one. Let's see what we get. We can get the Rattata. We can get the Pidgey. What do we get? Get the Rattata. All right. That's fine with me. That is fine with me. Um, if I do a, I'm gonna quick attack you. Get a little chip. I'll hit you again. A little chip damage. Look how purple red that is. I love it. I love it. Okay, Pokeball. And let's look for some nicknames. Uh. I'm gonna name him Big Purr. <laughs> I like it. Big Purr it is. The rat Pokemon. Alright. Big Purr. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Alright. We got a little Rattata on the squad. A little Rattata action. I'm down for it. And now we can fish in Pallet Town, so we can get a little water type on the squad. Let's see what we get. Perfect. Let's see what we get. I'll have to update the team layout, too. A Poliwag, okay. Poliwag's not a bad Pokemon. Definitely gonna need it for this first gym. Let me tell you, trying to beat this with just a Pikachu would not be an easy task. Um... I low key think a Thundershock won't KO you. I'm gonna go for the quick attack. We wanna whittle you down a tiny bit. Double slap. Alright, 18, 16, 2 damage per. 2 hits. Eat into the yellow. Perfect. It's a crit. Okay. I would have crit him with the Thundershock, I already know it. Only 2 hits. Pokeball. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, we got a Poliwag. I love it. I love it. I'm going to name this... I'm going to go with Kane. Looks like a bunch of wrestling nicknames. So let's go with Kane. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice little water type to get started. All right, let me update the team real quick. I know when I click off the game, it's going to pause the audio. All right. Back. Yeah, this updates. All right, cool. Pretty cool. Look at that. Nice little squad getting started. I'll take it. I'll take it. I wonder what other Pokemon are available via Old Rod. Hmm. I wonder. I definitely need to heal up, too. Definitely need to heal up. Mm, mm, mm. What? how long I want to do these episodes. I usually do, like, 25 minutes or so. I kind of want to keep these around that range. Um, I was thinking about doing slightly shorter episodes uh, since I wanted to try doing the TikTok. And this game's not extremely long. Um, especially when I cut out like all the grinding and whatnot. This game's not the longest game of all time. So I think if I shorten the videos a tiny bit, I'll be able to um, get, you know, more episodes out of it and kind of milk it a little bit longer, you know? 
Also, who knows? I might lose super quick. I'm not very good at this game, if you guys don't know that. Alright, let's see if there's any other Pokemon to catch. I don't know if there's more in the old rod. Um, it would be my Viridian City encounter, if it was. Another Poliwag. Okay. I'm gonna KO this. I just want some experience. Need a little bit of experience. I'm gonna have to grind up my guys. I'll probably do that in between episodes more. Um, I can get the encounter to the left. Get what route that is, but... And then there's route... Like three or two. It's above me. I'm not really great with the route numbers. Nice little 55 experience. I don't know if there's... I'm gonna let's try one more time. If I don't catch anything different, I'll just ignore this and I'll move on. Um, it'd be cool if there was a Magikarp available, though. Not even a Nibble. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Let's go over here. Nice little potion. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, new route right here. Wow, first patch of grass, not wasting any time. It is another Rattata. Okay, so that's dupes. So, see, so I gotta catch those. Gotta catch those encounters right off the bat, because you get the dupes and you can, you know, get a new Pokemon. Let's see what we got over here. Hopefully, there's like a Vulpix or something. All right, get a Spiro. Not mad at it. Level six Spiro. I think it can take one Thundershock. The Poliwag at level five took a Thundershock, so I feel like a Spiro can. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Firo's a good Pokemon. I am not mad at this. I am not mad at this. Let's see what we got for nicknames. Uh, you guys are really on the Mac and Breezes nicknames for the Soul Link, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to name it Fox. Fox the, the Firo. I like it. Nicknames of Spiro? Yes. Wow, look at Fox. It's right down the center of the letters. Pretty cool. Alright. So we got a little team going right now. Big Purr, Kane, Fox, and Coffee. Not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. Let me go heal up real quick. Heal up the boys. And then we'll go up to the north. I'm not going to do the rival battle just yet. Um... Let me add Spiro to the layout. Okay. There we go. Spiro's my boy. Love that Pokemon. Spiro's so good. Ah, I've had my coffee now. Oh, had you? oh did you? So you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon as my apology. All right, buddy. Show me how it's done. I've never seen a Pokemon caught before. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Old man, use the Pokeball. And... Nope. No luck. That didn't work. I may be losing my touch. Maybe that was just a strong Pokemon. Apparently, if you hold Start while pressing A on stats, you can check to see a Pokemon's growth potential. I've run out of Pokeballs, too. I have to get some other Pokemon. Uh-oh. Let me see that. Stats. If you hold Start, it said. It's not working. Hmm. I also have to hold it for longer. Not working? Nope. I guess not. Alright. Maybe I'm just messing it up, not doing it right. But so be it. So be it. I'm gonna run the Pokemon regardless of their growth potential. I guess it's assuming it's like the IVs. Alright, what do we got here? A Pidgey. All right, we got double birds. We are birded up. Uh, do I think you live a Thundershock? Spiro was close. It almost didn't take it. <sighs> Just got to throw a Pokeball. Just got to throw a Pokeball. I'm not going to risk it. Perfect. All right, Pidgey. 
Let me see, let me see. I'm going to name the Pidgey the Tiny Bird. I'm gonna name it. Um, let's name it Toxic. Let's name it Toxic. And then let's get our last encounter before the gym. And also filling up our team in the forest. I'm assuming the bug, we get the Weedle. All right. I do not mind Weedle. I actually think Beedrill is an underrated Pokemon. I really do think it's an underrated Pokemon. This would have been a better name for Toxic. No poison, thankfully. I'm going to name this Jesse. All right, let me uh, do a quick get Pidgey on the team and Weedle. All right. Weedle is on the squad. Going to name it Jesse. Jesse the Weedle. The hairy bug. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Uh, oh, I went right past the J. Jesse James. All right. We got a full squad of Pokemon in the building. All right. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. We got all of our encounters. Uh, everybody leave your nicknames in the suggestions uh, as I get more encounters throughout the series. Going to need more nicknames. So leave them below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.